if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 10 of the second season here at West Ham United on FIFA 16. We have all the S's today. Stoke City, who are currently sat fifth in the table, then Sevilla, followed by Sheffield Wednesday. So three games against against uh, S's in uh, today's video. Hopefully we can get some decent form. I don't know where Sheffield Wednesday are in the league. They're down in 18th on seven points. So, uh, actually, where are Liverpool? Liverpool up into 14th. Shock horror. They'll be getting nosebleeds being that high in career mode. I really don't understand why Liverpool are always really poor in uh, in FIFA. But never mind. Arsenal currently top. City and United second and third. And then it's QPR, weirdly. Stoke. And then there's a clutch of teams on uh, 16 and 15. You can see we're on 15. And there are only a point, uh, two points sorry, off the Europa League spots. And only four points away from uh, QPR in the Champions League spots. We're in the Champions League currently, obviously, with that game against Sevilla to come. So, fingers crossed, things can go well for us today. If you enjoy the episode this afternoon, make sure you drop the video a thumbs up rating and subscribe to the channel as well if you are new. We'll play in the blue kit just to save any sort of uh, kit colour classes between the red and the claret. But uh, for now, we'll see what we can do. I'm really excited about today's episode. I've not played for a while, so I might be a little bit terrible, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Here's Noble. That's a good turn. Look for Umtiti. In actual fact, we find Ben Yedder. Mark Noble goes down. We should get a free kick here and have done. Noble's back on his feet. Could have had a shot there with Ben Yedder, but the turn wasn't the best. Now, what do we do here? I might end up just dinking this towards the back post and see if someone can run in towards it and get a header on goal. And they have. It's in Bula, but I think he's hurt there. And that's not necessarily the way we want things to start here against Stoke. mbula has gone down and stayed down. We're going to have to bring on a tired... Uh, Obiang, I presume. I don't think... I could maybe move... I don't really want to pay Paye or Lanzini inside and bring Redmond on on the outside. Barkley's got more stamina, but Obiang is going to be the man that best suits that role. So immediately, 15 minutes into the game, unfortunately, Mbula's gone down with an injury. Won the header well, then landed with a bit of a crunch on that shoulder. And he's going to have to leave the field to play. Shakiri. Trying to chase him down with Noble, but I'm not exactly going to catch Ched and Shakiri with Mark Noble, am I? Stephen Iron, what a ball that is through to Moha. I don't even know who Moha is, but a wonderful interception by Samuel and Titi. And we'll try and catch them on the counter. Play it into Lanzini. Not got the fastest of players, really, Stoke. Play this to Nelson Semedo. Surely he's got the pace on uh, Steve Sidwell, and he does. And I see Lanzini at the back post. We'll dink it to him. Lanzini with a header. 1-0 West Ham. That's three headers from Lanzini in the last five or six games. He cannot help himself. Wonderful run, though, to arc around the back of the defenders. As everyone was sucked in towards the near post, he just had the uh, the intelligence to peel off the back, run around, was clean through at the back post. All I had to do was ensure the ball across was good. It was, as was the header. 1-0 West Ham away from home at the Britannia. Shakiri. There's not long left now, and Stoke have got so many men forward, one of which is centre-back Mark Wilson, who's now very much out of position. If you can win that header, Ben Yedder, which he can't do. That was weird to say, that header, Ben Yedder, in, uh, <laughs> in such a quick fashion, but lovely tackle by Samuel Mtiti, and that needed to be made as well. Odin Wingy out wide to Johnson. Trying to close him down with Ross Barkley, the former Liverpool player, up against the former Liv uh, Everton player. But it's uh, the West Ham team that come out on top. A 1-0 victory at the Britannia against Stoke City. Hard fought, but we will take it. Three points to actually move us above them in the league, I believe. Or were they fourth? I can't quite remember whether they were just above us or whether they were just above... Uh, QPR. No, QPR were in fourth, weren't they? They've won 2 1 against Sunderland. A win for Arsenal, a win for City, and a win for Man United means that they keep pace at the top of the table. However, things are looking better for us in the Barclays Premier League. How long is Mbula out for? Just nine days, but that means he will miss the game against uh, Sevilla and probably the game against. Um, Sheffield Wednesday the weekend as well. So we'll jump into this next game in the Champions League. Victory against Sevilla would almost guarantee us progression through to the next round of the competition. Playing a different formation in this one because of the closeness of the fixture congestion and the fact that so many players are really, really tired. I'm playing two cams and just the one centre mid in that kind of Christmas tree triangle front forward uh, six. 
So we'll have to wait and see how it goes. Riedervald is playing at centre mid and he's by trade a centre back as well. So uh, he's going to have his work out in that holding role as the one central out and out central midfielder in the side. So this is going to be a difficult game, more difficult than I thought before we headed in. So I'll be pleased with just a point here, but if we can get the win, then I will try and get one. Conor Plianka inside to Krakowiak to Fernando Llorente, try and get a block in. Barclays trying to make the interception, but they're working about nicely. Krakowiak, the pole is in the box and the shot and a finish and a half from him as well on his left foot. Oh, Grzegorz Krakowiak gives Sevilla a 1-0 away lead after 12 minutes. Really well worked. I thought I'd done enough there when Ross Bartley got the interception, but that first touch there and the turn, I, I hate that attempted tackle. They just kind of lean rather than trying to actually go for the ball. Sam Byram did it there, and oh, it's a great finish, but still really frustrated that uh, they were able to create the opportunity with that turn. Wish Byram had gone for the ball rather than just trying to get in the way of a potential uh, blocked shot. Zarate. A forward ahead of Antonio. They're a man down at the minute because Koke's gone off injured, but I've run into a borer there. But Riedervald's won it back, very nicely done. And we'll look for Saido, and Saido will look for Ross Barkley. Might be able to get it back towards Saido Berahino. Does have a five-star weak foot, of course, Ross Barkley. Although he's used his right and he's hit the bar. Where's that going to go? It's not going to go out for a goal kick, and they've smashed it clear. Really nicely worked by Ross Barkley there. Was waiting for the shot on the left. Took it with his right. Berahino may even have a chance of his own now as well, and he's hit it straight at Beto. Two great opportunities there to get an equaliser, but unfortunately, the bar and then the goalkeeper were in the way. But there you go. He's given that straight to Riedewald, who then has made the secondary tackle as well. But the ball is just pinging straight back to Sevilla men right now. It won't fall for us in this first half. Had a decent opportunity not long ago with Barkley off the bar. But every other opportunity we create, and even in a defensive fashion as well, whenever there's a foot put in by someone, it always ends up back at a severe foot, which is infuriating and extremely frustrating when trying to build moves as well and trying to defend and stop them from getting too far away from me. But hopefully things will swing in our favour sooner rather than later. Barkley's back in the box again now, and maybe... Yes, things are going to sway in our favour. Chopped from behind, penalty to West Ham. Is it going to be a yellow card for Caricho as well? We we'll presume so. Barclays picked up a yellow card at some point in the first half, and I can't remember what for, but he was the one that got chopped there, and Caricho has gone down. So uh, do we let Berahino take it? He's got 84 penalties. Barkley won it. We'll let Berahino take it. Come on, Sido. Put this in the top left. Keeper go the other way. No, Beto goes the right way and makes the save. The opportunity to get ourselves back level just before half time and the keeper makes the save. See what I mean about stuff just not going my way? Oh, not going my way at all. Sido, get the touch in. No. It's just not, it's not working so far in this first half. It just is not working. Berahino to Riedeveld. Get this through to Sido again and around the corner. Marazarati's in the box. Turn inside. Finesse shot from Marazarati. No, no, we've hit the bar again. Oh my god! It will not go in. It, we cannot score a goal here against Sevilla. Everything I've tried, a missed penalty off the bar twice. Sevilla are the luckiest sons of bitches we've played against so far in this entire series. This is like the 30th episode so far in a season and a half. And I've never had a game like this where we've just been so, so unlucky in front of goal. Ava Benega. It's again that weird animation where they just kind of lean in front of the man rather than trying to make a tackle. <laughs> everything that's happened in this game so far, everything, every last little detail. It, the game want, FIFA wants me to lose this game against Sevilla. It just does. That falls perfectly for, for, for Fernando Llorente. We get. Uh, an interception or a tackling, I can't even remember what it was there, that blocked out and it just dropped straight to Llorente. Ah! So annoying. 2-0 down against Sevilla now, when we could be 3-2 up if we'd not hit the bar and oh, scored the bloody penalty. Sam Byram, space there for Redmond to run into, but unfortunately I've had to turn inside. We'll play that around the corner looking for Sido Berahino though. It's a good run, really good run. Can we get in the box? We have done. Berahino to chance. Oh, the chance to get us back in the game, and he's put it wide. Saido, so when I need you to be clinical in front of goal, my man, and he's just pulled the shot past the far post. It's just nothing's gone for me in this one. I'll give this to Berahino. 
and lay it quickly across towards Zarate, but everyone's shattered because we've just been running around chasing the ball the entire time. 2-0 Sevilla is the final scoreline. We could quite possibly have won that with the amount of chances we had. Missed a penalty, hit the bar twice. Another good, couple of good opportunities as well, but Sevilla come away with the victory because the game decided that they should win it. I desperately want three points against Sheffield Wednesday now. Bobby Yang. Forward to Ben Yedda. Try and use the run as a distraction. Ben Yedda shows good strength. He's still going here, Ben Yedda. Oh, the shot was terrible. Oh, if that had bent into the top corner, that would have been a phenomenal goal. Great strength for the little man, but with the, the defender on his shoulder. Maybe a little nudge in the back as well. Just lent back a little bit too much and too much elevation on it. Never mind. Good opportunity to start things off after 10 minutes. Here come Wednesday on the attack. Matthias, he's got Sergio Bruce ahead of him and Titi is with him. He's held him off well there. Gary Bannon skips past Mark Noble. Down the line again for Sergio Bruce. Winston Reid commits to the challenge. Wipes him out. It's going to be a booking for Winston Reid, unsurprisingly, and a free kick for Wednesday, which is basically going to serve just as sort of a corner, really. Similar sort of position. It stood up into the middle. Keepers come and punched, as he normally would do, from a corner as well. Sané brings it down. Counter-attack time, maybe. Uh, through to Noble. Sané, if you can make me the right run, my man, I will try and find you. And we may have done that perfectly. He's going to get on the end of it. Drive towards goal. And not score, because Kieran Westwood... Oh, Biang, what are you doing? What even is that? What is that animation? What? Tell me in the comment section, what the fuck was that? All he's got to do is put that in the, into the back of an empty net, and he's just tried to... I don't even know, knock it in with his stomach, perhaps? Wiggle his belly button at the ball? I don't know what he's doing. We should be 1-0 up in this game by now, and we're not. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Oh, Biang turn, give it to Ben Yedda, or have it intercepted, and then we'll give it to Ben Yedda. Good first touch, good turn, and have to look back, is there someone running from deep? There is, Mark No will take a touch, have the shot, score a goal, no, wide for a corner, never mind, we'll try and get something from the set piece instead, Noble will take it, keeper might come for this, has done, Winston Reid's gone up, that's going to drop two, Nelson Semedo eventually, and I can't have a shot because it just wouldn't settle for him. Are we going to get a free kick here, though? Is that in our way? It is. Pae right on the edge of the box. He's probably got the best free kick stats of anyone starting, doesn't he? Yes. 81 curve. Not too much power on it. Pae oh, into the wall and out for another corner. Fine. Come on. Let's get ourselves in front. Plenty happening in the opening 20 minutes here. And the header from Ntiti straight at the goalkeeper. Q. Tom Lee's down the line. Nice little one twos going on here, but we'll get the tackle in. And then they'll get a fortunate rebound and playing the ball about beautifully and Sheffield Wednesday are 1-0 up. I'm, just, I'm trying not to rage here. I got angry enough in that severe game. I'm just, that's fine. We'll just come back. We'll get an equaliser. We'll still win this game. Play eight to Ben Yedda. Heavy touch. Try and, oh, send the defender. Oh, Ben Yedda, this is delightful. Ben Yedda, that is one of the best goals we've scored all series long. What a run. From Wissam Yem Ben Yedda. They've just scored. We kept our calm, and apparently that was the best thing to do. This one was the best one from foot to foot. And then a lovely finish on his left foot. He's got five star weak foot, hasn't he, Ben Yedda? Five star weak foot, four star skills, and you can see that there in action. 1 1 just before half time. We are definitely going to get a win from this one. I'm certain we're going to get a 2 1 win, maybe even a 3 1 win. That's the aim. Keep that in, Nelson. Good lad. Into Pae. I'll be angle, make me run, maybe. Well, Sane has, and we'll look for Ben Yedda. He's in. Good first touch. Finesse shot from Ben Yedda. Great block by Tom Lees. They've still not got it clear properly. Can you win this, Lanzini? You've been winning headers to score goals, but you can't win that one. Uh, is that going to drop to West Ham? I'm trying to get there. There we go, Noble. Looking for, oh, it's meant for Pae, but Sane could win it back. No, Tom Lees again. Just defending very, very well at the minute, Sheffield Wednesday. That could have been 2 1. Surely it's not long until we actually get that second. Nice threaded through ball. Paya gets on the end of it. We'll send Ben Yedda. Not much support here up at all. But Lanzini gets there to pick up the rebound. And Ben Yedda will go for the turn. We'll give it back to Lanzini. Committed to the challenge here, the defender. Lanzini skips over it. There's the cross. Oh, Dimitri rises first. We are in front at last. Away from home at Hillsborough. Lanzini hops over the challenge. Nice hurdle and then stands it up. I don't know how Pai has won that header against the defender, but I am glad that he has. 2-1 West Ham. Thank you, Dimitri. Exactly what we needed. 
He's given that straight to Sané. We can get this inside to Mauro Zarate. Oh, I need Lanzini on the far side. He's arriving. We'll play it into him. We've got Noble ahead of me. I can't get it to you yet, Mark, because he ran straight offside. But we'll try and get this back in the box. Surely that's a pen. It is. We missed the penalty in the last game against Sevilla, and here is the chance to get a third goal, to go 3-1 in front in this one. A definite penalty. It's going to be a yellow card for the defender. I'm trying to skip it because I just want to take the pen at this point. Royce Wiggins. Royce? Reese? I don't know. R-H-O-Y-S. I don't know. No idea how to pronounce that. I apologise. I presume it's Welsh. Um, who's going to take the pen? No one has 88 penalties. Well then, Mark, looks like it's going to be you. We'll go the opposite corner as we did against Sevilla. And it works! West Ham 3, Sheffield Wednesday 1. We are going to get three points again in the Barclays Premier League. So it looks like two wins from the BPL today. And unfortunately, that defeat against Sevilla. Here's Lees for Wednesday. Taking their time here. There's barely any time left in the game. Oh, it's a lovely ball through to Kamano. And that would have been a gorgeous goal if he'd have walked that round the goalkeeper. Sadly for him, he wasn't able to do so. And this should be, as we break away, the full-time whistle. A 3-1 win over Sheffield Wednesday on top of our 1-0 win against Stoke. On top of our 2-0 defeat against Sevilla, which shouldn't have been a defeat. Only 39% possession in that one, but plenty of chances. Pleased with our Barclays Premier League form. In today's episode, we will just have to be better against uh, Wednesday, against uh, uh, teams in Europe, won't we? We've got a game, that's twice now we've played Severe, I think, isn't it? We've got to play, uh, let's have a look at the group, actually, we can show you how it's going. We are up into fifth in the BPL, though, which is fantastic. And eventually, it will actually change group. There we go, change slate. Can you do it again for me? I want the Champions League, there we go. And we were in the last group, weren't we, actually, thinking about it. So we'll go this way. We are second. Severe, clear winners of the group, clear leaders. They are, well, pretty much guaranteed progression through. But we've got Inter and Besiktas to play, and it's all in our hands. If we get good results there, we will go through to the, uh, the knockout stages of the Champions League. Next up, we've got QPR, who are there and thereabouts at the top of the BPL table. And that's going to bring today's episode to a close, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days, whether it's this series or the My Player series. An episode of that was uploaded last night if you missed it, so we'll check that out. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.